Bertone from Tokyo, where her emotional post-race interview went viral. Swimmer Ellie Robinson feared her Paralympic dream was over earlier on this year. She had to train in agony, absolute agony, due to a chronic condition in her hip. But after finishing fifth in the 50-metre butterfly, well, the emotions came out. Wow. Ellie Robinson joins me now. I am so glad that you can be here. You're literally just back <laughs> from Tokyo. That was so powerful. And for me watching that and for all the millions of people who've seen it, it's what the Olympics are all about. Definitely. A lot of emotion came out in that, as you can, as you can see. Um, I think after the year that everyone's had, I think it's been, there's been so much uncertainty, I think, with the pandemic. And life has very much been out of people's control. And... I wanted to share my story and I really wanted to give control back to the people. I wanted to remind people that even in these uncertain times, you can dictate your future. Your future doesn't have to dictate you. And yeah. that was what I wanted to really get oh, across. It, was, it, <laughs> it touched so many people, Ellie. That's the thing. It really touched the chord. Obviously, you're a fantastic athlete. Of course you are. But with just about everybody, as you said, who've been going through this tough time, you trained, and I don't know how you did it. I really don't. Can you tell me a bit about the, the condition? Is it perthes? Yeah, it's Perth pronounced in so many different ways. <laughs> <laughs> but um, basically, they don't know how, but the blood supply gets cut off to the hip, and half my hip collapsed. It then rebuilt itself, but because I was 11 years old, it didn't rebuild in a very good shape. So it's kind of like a rugby ball shape. So it doesn't really fit inside the socket very well. There's yes. quite a few cysts on it as well. So oh. it's, but I make it sound a lot worse than it is. Well, I don't know. <laughs> no, but you have gone through a hell of a lot. You know, anyway, I mean, it's hard anyway. If you're training <laughs> for the Olympics, you know, and you're an athlete, you've got to push yourself and the pain can sometimes be overwhelming. But for you, is that with you all the time? Um, it's definitely exacerbated by swimming, mm. exacerbated by training and strain. Um, I'd like to think that each hip has a finite amount of time and each time you put strain on it, you kind of take away a chunk of time. Yeah. So for me, I was just taking chunks out of it and physios and doctors, they've said to me, they're surprised that my hips lasted nine years. Right. They actually say it's remarkable that it's done that. So I'm very thankful that, you know, you hung in there. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Eventually a hip replacement, that'll probably happen. Yeah, so yeah. that will be um, the future plan. Hip replacement, sure. maybe kind of resurfacing. It was interesting, actually. The same day, um, Andy Murray was playing and obviously he's had problems with his hip of as well. Has, so yeah. we both kind of competing on the same day and it was yeah as you can imagine I was very emotional and like things like that were just enough to kind of get me going again. <laughs> I'm not surprised you were emotional I'm, I'm, I'm really not it was it, it is a very emotional time and also you've got absolutely nothing to prove you've got a gold medal already and a bronze medal of course from Rio you've got that and it wasn't really this is what really struck me it wasn't so much about winning gold silver or bronze it was being the best you can be at that time you know walking away it's what you said walking away proud I can definitely say that in the years after Rio, I put so much pressure on myself to mm. win more golds than I did in Rio. I was totally fixated by medals and I have been taught in the best way possible that medals are not the be all and end all because when I came back from Rio, I remember that um, I was number one trending on Twitter and obviously I assumed that was because of the gold medals. I was the same in Tokyo and for me that really struck a chord because it showed that the British public don't just care about medals we care about the characters we care about the stories and that's what makes you proud to be British when you see people really getting invested in the story behind you and they don't care about the performances it's really quite a boost and I think it really I know that a lot of disabled people and a lot of athletes as well can struggle with identity and that was yeah, they broke down a huge barrier for me. So can I just say to the British public, thank you so much. <laughs> well, thank you for just reminding us what, what sport is all about and what sport can do for you. Is this you now? Or you, will we see you at the next Olympics or what's going to happen? Um, so I have officially hung up my hand goggles. I have oh. finished. But um, like I said, uh, I wouldn't have wanted it to finish in any other way. Mm. Um, I'm so... It's a good way. Yeah, you're yeah, right. Yeah, like you're I said, right. it's taught me... A lot. It's built my character so much, and the British public have done wonders for, well, honestly, my self esteem. It's unbelievable. And this teaches athletes as well. Because when I was kind of saying my goodbyes to the other athletes in the village, because we have to leave early, I was saying, look, go out there, absolutely smash it, go for gold. Mm. But remember, it's your character, it's who you are. And yeah. anyone that has trained in the past year and has gone through kind of training in the pandemic, you need to be 
damn well proud of yourself for getting where you are. And, <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Just, for being, just for getting picked and turning up, for goodness sake. Listening to you, you're so inspirational. Um, I can see you. I mean, obviously, I, I know you're studying at, at university. But afterwards, you've got to do commentating. You've got to do <laughs> inspirational speaking. You've got to do all of these things because the message that you've got is really important, especially for us coming out of this very dark time. Is that something you would want to do? Absolutely. Um, I'm doing a history and politics degree yes. at the minute. Yes. So if I could incorporate history, politics, media, if I could just bring them all together in the most <laughs> wonderful way, then that would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, I definitely, as you can tell, I like to um, I like to ramble on. No, it's, <laughs> I like to spread the word. So if I can, if people are willing to listen to me, then I will mm. happily teach them. I guess what I've got to share, I'll happily share my experiences mm. because I love I love doing stuff like this. So thank you for Good. having me. No, on it's the show. lovely to see you, and I know everybody's <laughs> so proud of you, including two very special people, your mum and dad. They've got a wee message for you. Here they are. Hi Eleanor, we just wanted to say how immensely proud we are of your post-race interview in Tokyo. We were already in awe of your perseverance and determination just to make the games, but now you've left us feeling extremely emotional. Yeah, you've made us emotional before, but this is something quite different, mate. Um, I know you've had a, a tough mental and physical couple of years, and the last 12 months have, have pushed you to your limit, but you've come through You've inspired us, you've inspired others, and you've got a big smile on your face. Well done, and here's to the next chapter. Absolutely, here's to the next chapter. We've certainly not heard the last from you. I hope not, anyway. <laughs> Ellie, what a joy. Thank you so much for coming in. It was great to talk to you. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely to see you, thank you. Don't forget, you can watch full episodes of Lorraine on the ITV Hub and all the best clips, compilations and playlists right here on our channel. Just subscribe now and you'll never miss an upload. Click here to watch another video similar to this one or click here to head to our channel's homepage to explore all of our exciting videos.